The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite TESS is a space telescope for NASA's Explorers program, designed to search for exoplanets using the transit method in an area 400 times larger than that covered by the Kepler mission. It was launched on April 18, 2018 atop a Falcon 9 rocket. During its two-year primary mission, it is expected to find more than 20,000 exoplanets, compared to about 3,800 exoplanets known when it launched. The first light image from TESS was taken on August 7, 2018, and released publicly on September 17, 2018. The primary mission objective for TESS is to survey the brightest stars near the Earth for transiting exoplanets over a two year period. The TESS satellite uses an array of wide field cameras to perform a survey of 85% of the sky. With TESS, it is possible to study the mass, size, density and orbit of a large cohort of small planets, including a sample of rocky planets in the habitable zones of their host stars. TESS will provide prime targets for further characterization by the James Webb Space Telescope, as well as other large ground-based and space-based telescopes of the future. While previous sky surveys with ground-based telescopes have mainly detected giant exoplanets, TESS will find a large number of small planets around the nearest stars in the sky. TESS records the nearest and brightest main-sequence stars hosting transiting exoplanets, which are the most favorable targets for detailed investigations. TESS uses a novel highly elliptical orbit around the Earth with an apogee approximately at the distance of the Moon and a perigee of 108,000 km. TESS orbits Earth twice during the time the Moon orbits once, a 2 to 1 resonance with the Moon. The orbit is expected to remain stable for a minimum of 10 years. Led by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with seed funding from Google, on April 5, 2013, it was announced that TESS, along with the Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer NICER, had been selected by NASA for launch. History. The genesis of TESS was as early as 2006, when a design was developed from private funding by individuals, Google, and the Kavli Foundation. In 2008, MIT proposed that TESS become a full NASA mission and submitted it for the Small Explorer program at Goddard Space Flight Center, but it was not selected. It was resubmitted in 2010 as an Explorer's program mission, and was approved in 2013 as a Medium Explorer mission. TESS passed its Critical Design Review in 2015, allowing production of the satellite to begin. While Kepler had cost $640 million at launch, TESS cost only $200 million plus $87 million for launch. <laughs> Mission overview TESS is designed to carry out the first Spaceburn All-Sky Transiting Exoplanet Survey. It is equipped with four wide-angle telescopes and associated charge-coupled device CCD detectors. Science data will be transmitted to Earth every two weeks. Full-frame images with an effective exposure time of two hours will be transmitted as well, enabling scientists to search for unexpected, transient phenomena, such as the optical counterparts to gamma-ray bursts. TESS will also utilize a guest investigator program, allowing scientists from other organizations to use TESS for their own research. This will allow an additional 20,000 celestial bodies to be observed. Topic. Orbital dynamics In order to obtain unobstructed imagery of both the northern and southern hemispheres of the sky, TESS will utilize a 2 to 1 lunar resonant orbit called P2, an orbit that has never been used before, although IBEX uses a similar P3 orbit. The highly elliptical orbit has a 373,000 km miles apogee, time to be positioned approximately 90 degrees away from the position of the Moon to minimize its destabilizing effect. This orbit should remain stable for decades and will keep TESS's cameras in a stable temperature range. The orbit is entirely outside the Van Allen belts to avoid radiation damage to TESS, and most of the orbit is spent far outside the belts. Every 13.7 days at its perigee of 108,000 km 67,000 miles, TESS will downlink the data it has collected during the orbit to Earth over a period of approximately three hours. Topic. Science objectives TESS's two-year all-sky survey will focus on nearby G, K, and M-type stars with apparent magnitudes brighter than magnitude 12. 
Approximately 500,000 stars will be studied, including the 1,000 closest red dwarfs across the whole sky, an area 400 times larger than that covered by the Kepler mission. TESS is expected to discover more than 20,000 transiting exoplanets, including 500 to 1,000 Earth-sized planets and super-Earths. Of those discoveries, an estimated 20 could be super-Earths located in the habitable zone around a star. Most exoplanets are expected to be between 30 and 300 light-years away. The survey is broken up into 26 observation sectors, each sector being 24 degrees times 96 degrees, with an overlap of sectors at the ecliptic poles to allow additional sensitivity towards smaller and longer period exoplanets in that region of the celestial sphere. The spacecraft will spend two 13.7-day orbits observing each sector, mapping the southern hemisphere of sky in its first year of operation and the northern hemisphere in its second year. The cameras actually take images every two seconds, but all the raw images would represent much more data volume than can be stored or downlinked. To deal with this, cutouts around 15,000 selected stars per orbit will be coded over a two-minute period and saved on board for downlink, while full-frame images will also be coded over a 30-minute period and saved for downlink. The actual data downlinks will occur every 13.7 days near perigee. This means that during the two years, TESS will continuously survey 85% of the sky for 27 days, with certain parts being surveyed across multiple runs. The survey methodology was designed such that the area that will be surveyed, essentially continuously, over an entire year 351 observation days and makes up about 5% of the entire sky, will encompass the regions of sky near the ecliptic poles which will be observable at any time of year with the JWST. Asteroseismology The test team also plans to use a 30-minute observation cadence for full-frame images, which has been noted for imposing a hard Nyquist limit that can be problematic for asteroseismology of stars. Asteroseismology is the science that studies the internal structure of stars by the interpretation of their frequency spectra. Different oscillation modes penetrate to different depths inside the star. The Kepler and Plato observatories are also intended for asteroseismology. Topic. Launch In December 2014, SpaceX was awarded the contract to launch TESS in August 2017, for a total contract value of $87 million. The 362kg spacecraft was originally scheduled to launch on March 20, 2018, but this was pushed back by SpaceX to allow additional time to prepare the launch vehicle and meet NASA launch service requirements. A static fire of the Falcon 9 rocket was completed on April 11, 2018, at approximately 18.30 Coordinated Universal Time. The launch was postponed again from April 16, 2018, and TESS was eventually launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from the SLC-40 launch site at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on April 18. The Falcon 9 launch sequence included a 149-second burn by the first stage, followed by a 6-minute second stage burn. Meanwhile, the B-1045 first stage Block 4 booster performed controlled re-entry maneuvers and successfully landed on the autonomous drone ship of course I Still Love You. After coasting for 35 minutes, the second stage performed a final 54-second burn that placed the test spacecraft into a supersynchronous transfer orbit of 200 by 270,000 km at an inclination of 28.5 degrees. The second stage released the payload, after which the stage itself was placed in a heliocentric orbit. An experimental water landing was performed for the fairing, as part of SpaceX's attempt to develop fairing reusability. Spacecraft <inaudible> 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 In 2013, Orbital Sciences received a four-year, $75 million contract to build tests for NASA. TESS uses an Orbital Sciences LEOSTAR-2 satellite bus, capable of three-axis stabilization using four hydrazine thrusters plus four reaction wheels providing better than three arc second fine spacecraft pointing control. Power is provided by two single-axis solar arrays generating 400 watts. A Ka band dish antenna provides a 100 megabits per second science downlink. Topic. Operational orbit. 
Once injected into the initial orbit by the Falcon 9 second stage, the spacecraft performed four additional independent burns that placed it into a lunar flyby orbit. On May 17, the spacecraft underwent a gravity assist by the Moon at 8,253.5 km 5 miles above the surface, and performed the final period adjustment burn on May 30. It achieved an orbital period of 13.65 days in the desired 2-1 resonance with the Moon, at 90 degrees phase offset to the Moon at apogee, which is expected to be a stable orbit for at least 20 years, thus requiring very little fuel to maintain. The entire maneuvering phase was expected to take a total of two months, and bring the craft in an eccentric orbit 17 to 75 r at a 37 degrees inclination. The total delta-v budget for orbit maneuvers was 215 meters per second 710 feet per second, which is 80% of the mission's total available reserves. If TESS receives an on-target or slightly above nominal orbit insertion by the Falcon 9, a theoretical mission duration in excess of 15 years would be possible from a consumable standpoint. Topic. Project timeline Around 60 days after launch, TESS was expected to begin its primary science mission. The first light image was made on August 7, 2018, and released publicly on September 17, 2018. TESS actually completed its commissioning phase at the end of July, and the science phase officially started on July 25. For the first two years of operation, TESS will monitor both the southern Year One and northern Year Two celestial hemispheres. During its mission TESS will tile the sky in 26 separate segments, with a 27.4-day observing period per segment a bit over one sidereal month. Topic. Scientific instrumentation The sole instrument on TESS is a package of four wide field of view CCD cameras. Each camera features four low-noise, low-power 4-megapixel CCDs created by MIT Lincoln Laboratory. The four CCDs are arranged in a 2x2 two two detector array for a total of 16 megapixels per camera and 16 CCDs for the entire instrument. Each camera has a 24 degrees x 24 degrees field of view, a 100 mm effective pupil diameter, a lens assembly with seven optical elements, and a bandpass range of 600 to 1000 nanometers. The test lenses have a combined field of view of 24 degrees x 96 degrees 2300 DEG2, around 5% of the entire sky and a focal ratio of f, 1.4. The n-squared energy, the fraction of the total energy of the point spread function that is within a square of the given dimensions centered on the peak, is 50% within 15 times 15 micrometers and 90% within 60 times 60 micrometers. For comparison, Kepler's primary mission only covered an area of the sky measuring 105 DEG2, though the K2 extension has covered many such areas for shorter times. Topic. Ground operations The test ground system is divided between eight sites around the United States. These include NASA's Space Network and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Deep Space Network for Command and Telemetry, Orbital ATK's Mission Operations Center, MIT's Payload Operations Center, the Ames Research Center's Science Processing Operations Center, the Goddard Space Flight Center's Flight Dynamics Facility, the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory's Test Science Office, and the Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes MAST. Stable light source for tests One of the issues facing the development of this type of instrument is having an ultra-stable light source to test on. In 2015, a group at the University of Geneva made a breakthrough in the development of a stable light source. While this instrument was created to support ESA's CHIPS Exoplanet Observatory, one was also ordered by the test program. Although both plan to look at bright nearby stars using the transit method, CHIPS is focused on collecting more data on known exoplanets, including those found by TESS and other survey missions. Topic. Results TESS started science operations on July 25, 2018. The first announced finding from the mission was the observation of comet C. 2018 N1. 
The first exoplanet detection announcement was on September 18, announcing the discovery of a super-Earth in the Pi Mense system orbiting the star every six days, adding to a known super-Jupiter orbiting the same star every 5.9 years. On September 20, 2018, the discovery of an ultra-short period planet was announced, slightly larger than Earth, orbiting the red dwarf LHS 3844. With an orbital period of 11 hours, LHS 3844b is one of the planets with the shortest known period. It orbits its star at a distance of 932,000 km miles). LHS 3844 b is also one of the closest known exoplanets to Earth, at a distance of 14.9 parsec. TESS's third discovered exoplanet is HD 202772A flat, a hot Jupiter orbiting the brighter component of the visual binary star HD 202772, located in the constellation Capricornus at a distance of about 480 light years from Earth. The discovery was announced on October 5, 2018. HD 202772 A flat orbits its host star once every 3.3 days. It is an inflated hot Jupiter, and a rare example of hot Jupiters around evolved stars. It is also one of the most strongly irradiated planets known, with an equilibrium temperature of 2100 K 1830 degrees Celsius, 3320 degrees Fahrenheit. Data on exoplanet candidates continue to be made available at MAST. As of 12 October 2018, the total number of candidates was up to 54. This list included the three exoplanets already reported. 44 of the candidates were from Sector 1 with additional candidates from Sector 2. Two systems with two exoplanets and one with three exoplanets were on the list of candidates. The list of candidate exoplanets continues to grow as additional results are being published on the same MAST page. Topic. See also List of transiting exoplanets Topic. References Topic. Further reading Ricker, George R., et al., October 24, 2014. Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Journal of Astronomical Telescopes, Instruments, and Systems, 1, 1 914320. Archive, 1406.0151. Bibcode, 2014SPIE, 9143E, 20R. doi, 10.1117, Jadis, 1.1.014003. Stassen, Keevan, November 18, 2014. Tess and Galactic Science. PDF. California Institute of Technology. Topic. External links. TESS Twitter account by NASA TESS website by NASA Goddard TESS website by Massachusetts Institute of Technology TESS website by the Kavli Foundation TESS launch close-up, atop Falcon 9 rocket. APOD, 2018 April 21